close to 70% of U.S. workers plan to leave the job in 2023 with Gen Z millennials leading the way. Three tests to safety curve a new career path this year. So that's that's pretty crazy, 70%. So according to, that, so according to a LinkedIn study, Gen Z millennials Americans started to plan to leave their jobs in 2023. Unemployment 3.4% of American workers have a um, month worker disadvantage. Only part of the story. Inflation has outpaced salaries. So, like what I talked about in my last video, I wanted to get a raise. Because I was getting paid, I'm getting paid 15 an hour. And everything around me has gone up in price. And I'm still getting paid 15 uh, they say I'm I'm a really good worker, but I would like to get paid more. But they having hard time replacing anybody to do a dish, so I don't think they're gonna be moving up me any. Like what I talked about in my last video, but it's crazy to see a lot of people in the seventies percent, according to this article, planning on leaving. That's insane. Gen X and older cohorts aren't far behind at 63%. Mm, 63% of older people, too. That's that's going to be a lot of people moving. Save before you brave it. If you plan to quit and strike out on your own, you must have an emergency fund. I already pretty much do. Half that. Uh, six months of wages and savings account. I don't necessarily have that yet. But I do have a savings. There are several reasons to do this. First off, if you have an information websites or several gigs in the can, there are financial bumps along the way. Of course, you're leaving your job. But the worst thing you can do is start out by incurring high interest, unsecured debt. Have no debt whatsoever. Monetize your passion. I'm already doing that shit. Dare to move beyond one thing. Is striking out your own risky, no doubt, but so it's depending ninety five 95 to provide everlasting security. 95s don't provide security whatsoever. I mean, it's, it's a consistent paycheck, but that's about it. Multiple income streams can create far more security than one job ever could. That's actually what I'm, I'm building up right now. I'm investing in the stock market as heavy as I can. Uh, I might as well just say I'll, Invest in Bitcoin. Like shit, I'm putting ten dollars a week into Bitcoin nowadays. So that's not dividends, but it's also like passive shit. So how do you justify creating passive income sources sort of it's a fantastic portfolio if you create a nice podcast? So I don't recommend podcasts because there's way too many people doing it. And it's really hard to get sponsors. Like I have a channel like it's decent size for a person that has no money over 300 subscribers and i'm not able to get no sponsorships i'm too small like i don't get above views uh to recreate a full-time job got plenty to get the several part-time gigs they love you know basic audio engineering that puts you one short step from recording interviews live i already could do that Tape syncing. Many other outlets will pay you $100 an hour or more to record the interview and deliver it quickly to your Dropbox or Wii transfer. Find your niece, your pace, and most of all, the time to make it happen when we thought about quitting getting to work or maybe you did or anyone smart enough to leave behind dead end job. I don't know, like, this article, it's not really talking about, like, a big, widespread thing. But 70% is still pretty freaking high. But anyway, let's do this.